Hey guys, welcome back to my KSP Korean playthrough where I have a between episodes confession. I was recovering some debris that had crashed down onto Kerbin and it gave me an extra, what, 25 science or something, which was handily enough to buy one of these next bits. Um, and I believe I actually went for this support structures uh, so I can have like. Uh, struts and liftoff clamps and all that that other cool stuff that makes things a lot easier. But anyway, today's launch is this pink and blue thing. Doesn't it look great? Um, we are sending Jeb to the to Minmus, the the fabled mission that I have been promising you guys for two episodes now is underway. Look at that beautiful takeoff! Isn't it amazing? Uh, so here we have the standard Blue Jay lifter, uh, and on top is my standard science vessel with an extra three engines clamped around it. Um, the science vessel is coming back. The engines are staying on Minmus. Not all the engines. Obviously, there's an engine underneath the science module, else it wouldn't be coming back at all. Uh, um, and yeah, I think that that fully explains what's going on here. And all that really remains to be done is to sling this into orbit and sort out a maneuver node for Minmus, which I don't think we need to watch because we've done that lots already. But whilst we're here, just have a look at those engines down there. Don't they look cool? Where the pink lights are like reflecting off against the black bits, and then the orange bits are where it's getting hot. I think that's pretty cool, and that was staging was nice. But yeah, we're, we're going to jump on a few a uh, few minutes to this point here. Um, so what I've done, I've circularized my orbit, and I have sorted out a maneuver nude uh, to put us towards Minmus. And in fact, I am halfway through my burn here because we didn't need to see me shedding off the the, the lifter stages. We, we've seen that like three times already now, um, and I don't want to bore you or me with doing it all over again. So there's a little bit of uh, finessing to do on this uh, burn of some description here. Uh, I've managed to, to, to over burn it, overcook it and end up flying past Minmus. But here with just ever so slightly uh, feathering of the throttle, perfect encounter set up. So we're going to go head back to the vessel and for some reason decide that we want to go and have a look around the outside. Uh, this is literally just, just go have a look at the ship. I, I, I think it'd be quite nice. Um, and also to get out and stretch Jeb's legs. Uh, I, I, know, I like flying around on the jetpacks. I, I think it's quite nice, good fun. Um, and indeed, yeah, everything. So with that poor use of language, I'll get on to describing what we see in front of us. So this vessel here has the ScanSat um, tracking bug thing so that we can find out where we are on, on the map layout. Uh, you'll see that we've got all the various sciences um, science, uh, not science, lighting. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. I, I, I'm, I love it when past me helps out like that and just shows what I'm talking about. Uh, and obviously, as I said, the triple engines and landing gear. Uh, so we have a, a, an SOI change alarm set so we could just accelerate our way up to, to find Minmus. Once again, I'm, I'm staring around trying to find it. I know I'm not going to find it. I don't, I don't even know why I'm really looking. I'm just going to be staring off into the void almost all the time. Um, even even trying to look down, be like, hey, where is it down there? Is, is this where we are? Let's, let's move to chase cam so we can find out. Um, still, it will be no good because we're, we're looking at Kerbin, right? It must be. Uh, it says my primary is Kerbin, but you know that, that might not be true. Who, who knows? So instead what we're going to do is have a quick look down. No, we're, we're still orbiting Kerbin. Uh, if you wonder why I'm looking down, you'll see that my nav ball tells me that the brown stuff is underneath me. Uh, and yeah, there we go. That, that That's how I know to look down to see what I'm orbiting. And there we go. SOI changed happened. My next thought on is where are we going to be uh, performing the capture burn, which is what I'm going to be calling this particular burn that I've been struggling to know what to call from now on. It will be the capture burn where we capture ourselves in orbit around. Uh, indeed, there is a maneuver nude going down and I think we're just going to jump to uh, doing that burn. Yes, indeed, this burn and I think Mimus was looking quite lovely there. Um, I know you had like, what, half a second to spot it. But there was Minmus, Kerbin, and the Mun all in one. There, there we go, all in one frame, just like that. I, I think that looks brilliant. Um, so we're going to uh, pivot ourselves round to try and, and get a good um, get a good angle and deceleration, um, mainly so that we can make a nice, safe, gentle landing. 
We have no particular destination in mind at this point. I just want to get down and get some get some sciences from Minmus. I think we're probably going to end up landing on either the lowlands or the highlands because they're the two biomes that have most coverage on Minmus. Uh, what I should have probably done is try and aim for something that's got a very small uh, small coverage so that when I come back with actual science missions, I can head for easier things instead of this one, which is just kind of a, hey, can I land on Minmus and get back again? Um, but there we go, hindsight, it's an amazing thing. Um, so plummeting down towards Minmus, as we have done, we are now at our lowest point and it's time to start decelerating a little bit more. Um, I want to try and land on the light side, obviously, ideally on that little crest right there that I'm pointing at on my screen, but I know you guys can't see my finger point. But right there where my periaps is, um, it was just a random spot that I picked. I looked on the other side of the planet from where I was at the time and went, that's a hill, let's land on that, or the top of that. Don't want to land on a slope, that, that leads to all sorts of trouble. But the, the flattest thing that you can find is generally the best idea uh, and we're going to swing round through the, the the dark side of Minmus um, oh, it's it's so nice now that I've got lighting on my vessels it, it's it's all about um, yeah being able to see what we can do but there we go beautiful sunrise we're going for that mountain right there or the one behind it I, I'm not quite sure at the moment uh, I recorded this like two days ago and, uh, and I can't really remember yeah no it looks like that vessel right there so we're going to lower our landing gear hopefully at some point very soon and start uh, bleeding off some excess horizontal velocity because obviously we don't want to be going at a rate of knots when we when we hit the ground here um, and when I do that I realize that this is going to mean that I do head for the ground so I need to kind of uh, buoy myself up a little bit more. Um, I want to. I, I want to slow down a bit, but not so much that I end up missing the target. I uh, like. I want to hit the crest of this. Obviously, like I'm sure you can see where I'm trying to go for the bit just above my mouse right now, ideally. But you know, we we deal with what we're doing. Um, using my map view here to ensure that I get the right sort of area for a landing, and I I feel quite happy with that one actually. Um, hopefully at some point I'll, I'll cut my engines and we'll just start drifting uh, we, we've pushed ourselves back up onto an upwards arc but that's all right a bit of time acceleration will get us over there and we're just waiting to get over the dark stuff so that we can that this dark stuff right here obviously uh, so that we can um, decelerate again and come in for a nice gentle safe landing uh, I as I said multiple times now I do enjoy landing on Minmus it's so soft and gentle and um, graceful I suppose it, it's just yeah it's easy as, as long as you don't try and do it at, as a sports car you're all right so I cut up, cut out some of the boring top of the arc stuff it takes a while to get there but you can see where I am now very close to the floor like the way it just kind of sprung up on me there that is exactly how it happened in game I thought I had ages to go yet and then suddenly I found myself very close to the floor thankfully Minmus Everything's going slow. I've got four engines on the go. Well, three engines. I, I was supposed to have four, but I've got three engines on the go. And boom! Gentle, bouncy touchdown. That's what it's all about. And there we go. Yay! Well done, guys. We did it. Woo! Time to do some sciencing. Um, that was some good sciencing. Um, here's some more good sciencing. Uh, the goo. And, of course, we have a... Um, crew report and an EVA and I suppose we really should plant a flag somewhere um, though I seem to be a little bit lax on planting flags this time and I don't know why but of course the first thing that you need to do when landing upon Mimus is uh, try and step back a little bit and get a good vantage point so you can get a decent picture of you and your vessel that have just landed uh, that, so there we go uh, there's a picture. That's probably going to be my thumbnail, hopefully, if I, if I do things correct. And we're going to must mess around on the surface of Minmus. Nearly planted a flag there. Nearly did it. Um, you all saw me hover over the button there, but instead we're going to do the surface sample. Uh, and the surface sample went, woo, look how high I can jump. So I then jumped and then completely forgot what I was doing because I was up in the air and, and up in the air is great. And I got all like wrapped up in that. And oh my God, did you see that backflip there? Did you see that backflip there? Wow! But yeah, as you can tell, I'm quite easily distracted with, with stuff. Um, and little things like that completely throw me off track and I'm not sure what I'm doing again. Woo! But anyway, we're going to get back into our ship here. Just so that we can get back in the ship and go, wait! 
I meant to plant a flag. Why haven't I planted a flag yet? Even after sorting out all my all my um, my staging and indeed playing around with the map for for ages. So I'm just going to skip that bit and go straight here. We're like, oh no, need to plant a flag. Uh, after messing around with the interface for a bit, of course, because for some reason I, I still don't know how to play Kerbal and I have to click random things before I get where I want to go. But anyway, there we go. We're on the floor. Let, let's let's get this done properly. Um, messing around with the camera angle and there we go. Planting a flag pointed away from my ship as per normal. Though I am intrigued by how much the flag flutters. Um, as we all know, as all good conspiracy theorists know, a flag fluttering on the moon shows that it was uh, filmed in, a, in an airport hangar somewhere because there was atmosphere there, right? We've all heard that, surely. <laughs> um, anyway, so there we go, flag, flag planted. We are going to get back in the vessel and be ready to head back home, hopefully. <laughs> Unless anything else springs to mind that I completely forgot that I was supposed to be doing. Um, <laughs> So first thing I need to do is shut down all my external engines because I don't want them turning on and trying to come at me like some sort of like set of missiles or something. Uh, then we get a decent camera angle and take this off and look just like that. Oh, isn't that great? I, I think that was really really good camera work of me there. Apart from this bit right here where I can't see. <laughs> but anyway, so checking map view, we're going to um, accelerate ourselves up to uh, an orbital velocity. Um, now I always think. I need to do a little bit less than I've actually done on Minmus, um, but you know that that's just because I've got it in my head that Minmus is ridiculously easy to land upon. So I always take it ridiculously easy, not like just easy as it should be. But there we go. Uh, on the curb inside of Minmus is where we need to accelerate to get ourselves down into an orbit that will not just spit us out into the outer solar system but will in fact drop us down into Kerbin. That is the secret to leaving both the, the moon and Minmus. Do it on the curb inside. Um, it looks like you're thrusting away but you're actually thrusting against the motion of the planet so you're slowing yourself down. There we go. So after time warping our way around the orbit so we can get to where our manoeuvre nude is, uh, we just perform this nice simple easy burn. There's a couple of hundred meters per second delta V needed to, to make that happen. Uh, I could follow the manoeuvre node but generally they just throw you that little bit off because you never manage to nail the, your engine exactly where the manoeuvre node is and uh, that's rubbish. You, you, so if you watch your screen you can get a much more exact thing on the go. As you will, then, uh, as you will watch me doing right here, I, I'm tweaking those hundreds of meters, hundreds of thousands of meters, sorry, down to a nice little 70 odd, so we can perform a small aero brake maneuver and not have to waste any more fuel. Um, I I always talk about wasted fuel as I like come into land with a half a fuel tank. Um, maybe I am a little bit overzealous with trying to save my fuel consumption, but. Yeah, you know, there we go. That's how things are. Um, so I find myself drifting in space here, and I realise that it's just not. I'm not going to get down low enough from this burn because I'm coming in at a ridiculously high angle for some reason. So we're going to turn around and just burn ourselves back down. Uh, there's almost always a need for a control burn somewhere, um, even if you start off doing that control burn in completely the wrong direction. But there we go, uh, mid-flight mid control burn, make sure you're pointed at the right thing at the right time in the right place, which is what it's all about. Uh, I stopped there at about 50 kilometers, um, it's not into the atmosphere, but 50 kilometers above the surface of Kerbin so that we are in the atmosphere. Um, I, I think that may have not actually been quite enough. And indeed we're going to see how much qu quite not enough it is right now. Um, so in this first pass because there will be multiple passes in this first pass I realized that it's really I'm not really um, dipping down into the atmosphere quite as much as I would like to at this point um, which means that I'm gonna have to try and burn my fuel off here so about here I'm like right that's it it's not gonna happen look at how far out that is I've gone past my periaps um, I'm gonna have to just thrust for all I'm worth here now if I was smart what I would have done is waited to get up to my Apple apps and use my uh, my remaining fuel to push me deeper into the atmosphere on the next pass, which is what I realised right here, but it's a bit late at this point. Um, so we're going to go all the way around the, the, the orbit just like that uh, and see if this pass will be enough to get me down. Uh, I have noticed that I've gone exactly halfway round the planet. Um, 
That's just an interesting interesting thing to point out there. It doesn't actually have any relevance onto what's going on. Um, but yeah, uh, once around the planet is about three million meters up. So we'll, we'll have to remember have to remember that if that once around half the planet. Should stop using the word once round. Halfway around the planet is about three million meters. Right there we go. So uh, it's about this point that I'm like, oh, this this is not working. What what's going to happen here? So I've set a maneuver node out at my apple apsis, um, and then I'm like, well, I've got no fuel. Wait, my jetpack has fuel. So we we get this guy out and we just go for a bit of a a, a fly around. Line ourselves up with the nose of that uh, that vessel right there. Oh, I can't speak at the moment. And push for all I am worth. Uh, literally, all we're trying to do is get our periaps that I've just uncovered from behind the, the 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 alarm clock panel there down as low as possible without stranding myself outside the vessel and then having to float in space and like burn in the atmosphere as a lonely Kerbal with just a thin space chute to protect me because that won't work I'll hit I'll I might make it through the atmosphere but I can tell you that I will hit that ground far too fast and my Kerbal won't like me very much well his opinion won't really matter from that point forward, to be honest. Um, but I'll feel bad about it. But anyway, we've we've done that little burn, and we're going to time warp our way round back to the dark side of the planet because you know that's where landings happen. It turns out. But thankfully, all this mucking around has actually put me really close to the space centre. Indeed, that is the big island that I'm flying over the top of right there. Um, so this must be the Kerblantic underneath me which is, is amazing, all types of awesome. Uh, we're trying to chase the periaps around and suddenly we find ourselves at the apple apps, which is good, by the way. When, when the periaps goes to the other side, it means you're decelerating quite hard. Um, and we nearly make it all the way down to other land masses further south. Um, of course, those great unconquered masses down south hold all sorts of unknown terrors that we don't want to expose our Kerbals to at the moment. So we are hoping for a bit of a splashdown, and indeed it looks like that is what's going to happen. Uh, any second now, I will be deploying my parachutes, and we just take that little slow, easy ride back down to the, uh, to the surface. Um, which just leaves me to say... Thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. It's been a blast. I hope you've had a blast. I will see you next time when we will be putting a base on Minmus. Yes, we're going to have a refueling depot up there with all, all sorts of ketane and science processing equipment and all sorts of cool stuff like that. But yeah, you'll have to join me for that next time. Thank you very much. Bye!